Now let's animate our text button. I'm going to move the playhead to around the 40 frame mark again. And I'm going to actually, with the text selected, move the text off of the stage and then set a keyframe right there. So again, right click, insert keyframe. Okay, and I'll move the playhead up, oh, 15 frames or so, and then we'll set another keyframe. Okay, on the second keyframe, I'm going to go ahead and move the text to the position where I want it. And then again, I'm going to right click on a frame in between the two keyframes and select classic tween. And there we go, a nice smooth transition. Really, it's the same exact thing we just did with the tree layer. But now look at this. With our playhead on the first keyframe of the text, and the text selected, we can also adjust its opacity. Now let's test it. Okay, it's looping right now, but I'll show you how to get around that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the publish settings. So, file, publish settings. Okay, see right here where it says loop timeline? I'm just going to uncheck that, okay? And everything else can stay at its default settings. Now we have set the settings, so I can press OK. However, we have not published yet. We have to go back up to File, Publish. Okay, we have now published our project. Let's take a look. See this mountain demo HTML in the JavaScript file that was created? We can actually embed these in a web page now. Let's click on it and take a look. Okay, and notice it's not looping anymore. We have our mountainproject.com link. If we click on it, it takes us to Google. And that is how you create a basic animated web banner with a clickable link using Adobe Animate CC.